Hey everyone. Hey. We're in another part of the store with blue walls, which yeah. means dollar room. Oh, and we're carrying on from last week where we showed the blue walls in progress. Oh yeah. I think we're all done painting. Yeah. But we've just begun to intro this video. Yes. Southern California Comics Weekly. Video update. About comics. About, yeah. That's a review. Yes. I think we got it all. Dot com. Uh, you know the score. We're going to start talking about books. Who wants to go first? You go first. Okay. Um, how about Breath of Bones? This is the new Steve Niles book, and it is one of three. Dark Horse. <laughs> I thought that was all you were going to say. It's about a golem? <laughs> yes. It takes place in, uh, I assume Nazi Germany. Yeah, World War Dose. It takes place during that Second World War you've heard so much about. And it's in cool black and white. Yeah, that's cool, all right? Yeah, I hear it's really good. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to read it because... Uh, I'm busy doing these videos all the time for you guys, so we are welcome. It's, it's, very, it's very different. It's not like the usual Steve Niles horror book. It's more... Yeah. I mean, it's slower paced. It's normal. Yeah. I mean, it's normal. More dramatic, more emotional. Yeah. Like I, a movie. I think if you're in the Steve Niles, you should check it out. If you're not into Steve Niles, you should give that a chance because it's different from his other stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then be confused when you read his other stuff and go, this is different. Yep. You know what else is different? Mm. Helheim. Why is it different? It's like a Viking comic. Yeah. Tell me more. It's by uh, Colin Bunn, who does, okay. you know, Six Gun and a bunch of Marvel stuff. I like that. And drawn by Joelle Jones. Um, Whoa, this, that's crazy. Yeah. Is there supernatural elements to it? I don't know. Does it look like a... a, a yes, yes there are. Yep, oh, this is that's cool. pretty sweet. There is a monster made of mounts. Do you like that? Yeah, check it out. You have no choice, you're checking it out. Right that's now. messed up. And it talks, that's cool. Yeah, um, Yeah. like I said, this is issue four, so you should jump in while you can. Is it mini or ongoing? I assume it's an ongoing. Cool. I did not do my research on this, I just know it looks cool. You know, it's not an ongoing. Great Pacific by Image. Issue seven starts the new arc. Wait, it is an ongoing? Yes. Okay. I hope. Oh boy. Um, the story is this guy finds this gigantic trash heap in the ocean and decides to settle it as New Texas. Um, and he does, and he starts building a town and people hate him for it. Uh, <laughs> it's a real odd idea for a comic book. Yeah, there's not a lot of comics that start off with their pitch as, it's about a guy who finds a trash heap. It makes it into a town. <laughs> so there's no like straightforward, like, well, there's a few antagonists, but you, know, you really don't know where a story like this is going to go, which is why I think it's fun and cool. Um, yeah, this one even work as a TV show. It works super well as a comic, so... Uh, it could um, be a TV show, like a Deadwood type thing. There's only like three people on the island, though. There's Small cast. There's an octopus, that's true. Small cast. Maybe like a YouTube. Anyway, the first Strange. trade's out. Uh, you could pick this up and start off and check it out. Try something new and different. Yeah. Speak of something that's old, but also yeah. new. Uh, they put out an American Vampire special. Very it's coming good back. Day. Yeah, it's coming back. Finally. Scott Snyder, Raphael Abakirky. Cool. Um, if you're in the American Vampire, here's a new thing for you to read. It's a one-shot. Seven bucks. That's a lot, but that's a lot of pages. You should be excited. Okay. If you are into it. Yeah, it's all new story for... Yeah. Uh, which is rare for an $8 book. Yeah, a lot of the $8 books lately have just been reprints. Here's the first appearance of American Vampire. Back in 1935's More Fun Comics. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. I need a segue. Think of Vespa. Ha. Hey, look, it's Superman and Chain by DC Comics. Um, this is another ongoing series, which helps the new 52 go back up to the new 52 instead of the new 43 or 44 after all the canceled books that are happening. Yeah, it's kind of hard to keep track. Actually, I think it's new 53 now. Anyway, uh, Scott Snyder and Jim Lee are doing this. Um, what do I say about it? But uh, this. It has a fold out splash page thing. But it's not a poster, it's a page of the book. So you have to read this. It's that big. And it's really hard. And you cannot fold it, and you can just put this back in your long boxes and ruin it. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of copies because it's Jim Lee. And I heard you folks like Jim Lee and his crazy pages. And they have like a movie coming out, I think. The Jim Lee movie? Yeah, Jim Lee movie. Oh, cool's playing. Uh, Henry Cavill. <laughs> they get British people to play everyone. I think you're days. thinking of the Jeff Johns movie. Um, last thing in my pile is okay. uh, 
the true lives of the fabulous Killjoys. Ooh, more new things. Yes. It's by Gerard Way, Sean Simon, Becky Cloonan. Gerard Way, who did uh, Umbrella Academy. He's what in a some band. Yeah. Right? He's in My Chemical Romance. Well, formerly they broke up. I know you were sad. I, I, did, I didn't even know that. I wasn't sad. I like him, but I wasn't sad. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is, this is based on their last album, which was like a concept album, but you don't really need to listen to the album. Oh, that's good. It's like post-apocalyptic, colorful. Mm, that is cool. People fighting vampire creatures. That's cool. Cool guns, cool hair. I wouldn't People even know masks. where to find the CD. They should just polybag it. They really should. Digital copy. Oh. That actually would have been a really smart idea. Maybe with the trade. Yeah. Yeah, this is a mini-series. But first issue's out. It's good. I like it. Good for you. It's the one thing I read this week. Speaking of... We're not good with segues this week. Yeah. Um, we have stuff to talk to you about. Okay, let's do the transition and then we'll jump into a brand new segment in a brand new place. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! We sifted hey. slightly to the left and now we're in a whole new place. Yeah. Um, uh, we have a bunch of new discounted trades. And regular ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go through the, all the discounted trades we have. Okay. Let's, cool? you guys find a theme, okay? We're gonna be theming it up this time. All-Star Superman, great comic. Yeah. Like, probably the best Superman comic of the modern era. That's probably true. Graham Morrison tackles Superman, takes that Golden Age stuff, and puts it into a crazy new version. Yeah. Really silver agey. Yeah, um, silver agey. Drawn by Frank Quietly, so it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Really super good. Like, yeah. if you, even if you don't like Superman, read this and you will like Superman. Yeah, you'll like him. But then you won't have anything else to read. Uh, Our World's at War, another. Superman fights aliens and stuff. That was kind of a crossover I kind of liked. Um, yeah, you liked it? That was kind of cool. I, only, I didn't really feel it. But yeah, aliens are invading and then um, they're attacking Earth, so they have to have a home front. So you see everyone's um, war efforts going on. Like, Superman has to report to Lex Luthor, who's president, like he's required to. And the Young Justice are on some airplane somewhere. It's really cool. I thought yeah. it was fun. Last discounted trade, uh, Superman Doomsday, aka Death of Superman. <gasps> what? I think... Uh, is that why my chemical bro moments broke up? Yeah. They were sad about Superman. No! Uh, this is cool, though. Yeah. If you... I'm sure you've heard about this at this point. Um, Wait, is this Death of Superman? Oh. oh, yeah. He wants payback. Oh, this is like post... That's the sequel to Death of Superman. Oh. I was wrong. Mm, way to go. I think Death of Superman is dope. Wish, I have not read this. I wish I had it to show it now. But to, anyway, it looks kind of like this. Yeah, it's a follow-up, but you know Death of Superman. But that was yeah. cool. Um, here's stuff that's not on sale. Oh, what? It's Showcase Superman. These are collections, your black and white kind of things that take a lot, just a huge chunk of your favorite comic book character. Yeah, it's like you can read them in order. It's like sixteen bucks for five hundred pages, six hundred. Yeah. Of old-timey Superman stories from the fifties. They're goofy, they're weird, they're great. Yeah. Um, and it's a cheaper alternative if, say, you can't afford $500 issues. Yeah. Some of you guys out there can't, which I think is dumb, but you whatever. You don't the color. No, I you mean, can color yourself. Yeah. It's like a coloring book, basically. Superman Green. Superman Red Sun, speaking of colors, good transition. Yeah. Uh, this is an Elseworlds when they used to have those back then. Yeah. Alternate, alternate stories. Yeah, alternate different universe. takes. Yeah. Uh... Baby Clark Kent is rocketed to Soviet Russia instead of America. And then you can watch the events unfold as... Yeah. It's got Russian Batman, which is the best. Yeah, it's like a fuzzy hat. It's worth the price of admission. Insane Green Lantern. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, they take your favorite characters and put a spin on them, which is cool. I like that stuff. Yep. Um, Last one. This is my favorite. Superman vs. The Flash. If you don't know... Um, there used to be a theme. Superman and the Flash would run and race each other every couple of years. Yeah. Just to see who... And I don't think there was ever a winner. They just... They got sidetracked. There was a plane on fire. They'd stop it and, ha-ha, let's eat ice cream. We did a good job. But they would never race, really. Which is stupid because the Flash's only power is running. They have fun. Yeah. They have fun. Someone turns into a turtle in this one. Um, this is a collection of, like, all of them. So check it out because it's fun and I like it. What was the theme of this? Comics. Yep, trade paperbacks. Pay attention, guys. I don't have anything else to report. Uh, like, oh, that because of the Superman movie. What? Right? Superman Returns? It was a good one. It's pretty good. Yeah. Why, I why think they got a new one. And uh, Henry Cavill plays Jim Lee. Yeah. 
That's it. Yeah. Jim Lee Returns. I don't remember the name of it. The actual movie? No. Man, Man of Steel. Steel. I know that. Not to be confused with Iron Man. Completely different thing. Mashup? 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 I'm sure it's on Facebook. Okay. Well, uh, speaking of Facebook, join us on Facebook for me or Danny posting the videos or pictures I find funny or comments or stuff that happens, sales and new additions. We got some new dollar books in and a lot of sets, so you're going to want to hunt through those. Yeah. Uh, also, Twitter. I do that when I remember. At SoCal Comics. Yep. And then we have a YouTube channel where all these videos are posted so you can watch them. Um, also SoCal Comics. Yeah. Um, you can cut them up and splice them into your own fan-made videos. Don't do that. You can remix them. Yeah. Uh, or you can just pause them in funny, funny images you like. Like that. Or you can cut little hearts out and you can put them on your wall. Big gifts. Yeah. Great gifts for everyone. Uh, that's it for now. We'll see you all next week. Uh, I didn't buy Superman tickets. I kind of forgot it was coming out tomorrow. Have yeah, me neither. Have you seen it? Nah. I'll probably see it this weekend. Okay. Everyone, bucks. come in the store and tell us if you liked it, but don't tell me anything about it. I heard Superman is in it. Damn it! What did you just say? I don't remember anything <laughs> I say. See you next week. money on pizza this week. What?